Tsunami Studios. How is it going everyone and welcome back to another collection video. This might be the shortest video I've done and that is for a couple of reasons. First one, I do not have the time right now to currently record a long-winded video that's like 20 minutes long and also this is a really small box. I figured I have a couple minutes to spare here so let's go through a box of my boxed figures and these are all the ones that are I still keep in packaging because that's how I display them. I think there's a couple items in here that aren't in great condition and it kind of sucks to say that but we are just going to have to go along with it and we'll see how it goes and what happens and let's just have fun with it guys because that's what we do here. We have fun and we enjoy ourselves and we're just going to jump right into the collection so let's do it. Here we have the uh, Team NT Classics from a line that I wish went longer by, uh, who was it, Playmates. They did the original movies, they did Bebop and Rocksteady, they did the classic figures and then we have these box ones from, they're supposed to be from Secret of the Ooze and this is the Leonardo. They, I think they are really cool. I know there's a couple issues with the way some things look, and I think the articulation works for the most part, a lot of cool accessories, just kind of sucks that there isn't uh, some great paint. I think that's the biggest deterrent for this line, but I really like the way it looks. I always keep these on display and I always have them up one way or another, so I think they're really cool. And here is the Michelangelo one of those figures. You can see the paint in the mouth, like they didn't like paint the inside of the mouth a different color. It's just that same green for the skin. I don't know if you guys can see here either, but there's some scuffing on the face of this Michelangelo. Uh, this one looks okay. The best head sculpt is obviously this one right here. It looks the most like the, like the show, but a lot of cool accessories with the donuts, with the nunchucks, with the... Uh, sausages there. I think they look cool and I wish this line did pick up when we got more stuff from it But I understand why it didn't and I'm not upset about it because I know NECA toys did a lot of good stuff with the turtles So I'm not gonna complain and we got the Raphael here. He comes with a what is that a sewer lid a pe full pizza that looks kind of bad This one looks okay again. I think there's some bad head sculpts, but I overall I think they're good the coloring is a little weird the coloring reminds me of like the old school uh, Ninja Turtle from 2003. I say old school, but I think it's you guys know what I mean And that's the case actually I think with a lot of these is those coloring for these sets definitely Like go by that old show. I know Mikey was a little darker in that old show, but I can tell you Right now which one is actually like the most accurate to the 2003 show is Donatello because he is straight up in that darker color skin and it works good for this figure. Again, oh man, that the head sculpt here looks pretty bad. You can see the different size of the eyes. You can see the mouth there. Uh, they look kind of silly, but again, I really, I like the packaging. I, something about these I, I still like. I still think there are some good figures here, regardless of the obvious paint issues and regardless of how some of the heads look, because they look kind of silly, but I still like them and they still are a big part of my collection. Do y'all remember these? These are part of the NECA video game inspired toys. This one's the Rambo. I think they look pretty nice, not gonna lie. I don't have all of them. I picked up the few that I liked. I think it's a nice looking figure. The paint just always impresses me with these things. And the box art is so good. Like, you don't you don't get content like this for a lot of like mainstream figures where the box is inspired by like the classic cartridge game and it looks worn and torn and they just look gorgeous. And you could just take them out of the fig, take them out of the packaging, and they work on their own. Or you can keep them in the box, like I do, for a lot of this. And this one is RoboCop. This was like the first one I got. I love this. You can see down here that the gun is loose because it goes in his holster here. But I just, I guess I didn't put it in. I love this. I, I do not have any more of the uh, the uh, RoboCop stuff that NECA did, but I like this figure. I think it looks really cool. I love the bar, the box art. You see Real Toys, MGM here. It looks great. You can't see that actually because I had it down, but you can see that there. I think these look really cool. Well worth picking up. If you guys are interested in that kind of stuff. And here is the Predator 2 figure because they did the, uh, there's an original Predator that came out and then there was this one that came out. So this is the City Hunter looks really cool I love the way this one looks with all the the paint the paint looks great on it everything just speaks the true to what it was in that game and it's just a really cool figure I really do like that one and arguably my favorite figure from this entire collection is the NECA Godzilla one 
Ah, oh, it looks so good. It looks so nice. I need to pick up a lot more of their Godzilla stuff. I really think it looks cool. And I, they do Godzilla in a way I didn't really know I would liked that much. But man, I think it just looks great. And something is so good about it. The colors are perfect. The body sculpt is perfect. And I love the box art for it. Again, these figures are just so cool and everyone should pick them up. Yeah, we have the alien from Alien 3, and you can look inside, and the arm is disconnected there. The, the arm was really loose on my figure. I don't know why it was like that. But I love the way this one's crammed into the box. I think it really looks cool, and I, I just keep saying they look great, because that's what they do. They look great. So that's a nice figure, too. And here we have the actual Predator from the first movie. You see Arnold on the front there, Schwarzenegger. You look inside, he's blue, he's bombastic. Man, this looks nice. Uh, you might have seen in a couple of my other videos, I have the Gremlin one and the Terminator one just somewhere else in different boxes, but man, these look great. I love just displaying them too, just like this, where you see them up here like this. They just, like, they just look really cool and interesting. I think that's great. And I did save arguably the best one for last. Boom, Batman. Oh my goodness, this one looks great. Look at that. Straight up a Keaton sculpt there. I know they, they re-released this in the normal colors for a DVD exclusive, but I love the way this looks. This is one of the few Keaton pieces I still have. I think just the colors on it look great. I love the way that the skin is blue on this one and the purples look great. I'm a sucker for a purple costume. I just love the way this one looks. It just, he's totally new, totally tough, and he'll stop at nothing to make sure justice prevails. It just looks so great and interesting. And you don't see a lot of figures like this anymore, so I obviously had to pick it up just because of that alone. I think it is well worth picking up, and I uh, I think these are a little more pricey now because I don't think they continued making this line, did they? I can't remember. There's a couple more. There's the Freddy and Jason, which were the first ones they did. There's the Leatherface. But no, they just look really cool, and I highly recommend picking these up. And I highly recommend picking up these turtle ones too. Like, I think you got some really cool action figures here that you guys are going to like. So. That's all I got for you today. I hope you guys liked this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And you can check me out on Patreon, on Instagram, on Twitter. Email me for stuff for whatever reason you want. All the information will be in the description below. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay tuned for more content. Later. Blah.